Hey up troops, it's a little to near again with another video and this time we're looking at the default plant spots on Clubhouse. And if you bear with me a second, let me turn that off. Friendly destroy the diffuser. Mission successful. Much better. So we've done Oregon, we're now on to Clubhouse and I've got to be brutally honest with you. I know some of the comments on the Oregon video said please include all the sites. I can't do that on Clubhouse because I've genuinely never played bar in any kind of sort of setting where I would ever plant the bomb. So I don't know where the default plant spots are in bar. If you know, please let me know. I've seen it in comp a little bit, but I don't really know them. So I'm not going to include them in the video because I don't want to get it wrong. So I've included CCTV, basements and gym. In short, before we get going, default plant spots are going to help you plant safer, more efficiently and know that call out when inevitably someone on your team goes, there's a guy on default or go and plant default. It's going to really help you out in that way. But as always, that's enough of me waffling on. Let's get stuck into it. On to Clubhouse then and I think probably the most popular and most played site and ranked, would you say, is CCTV Cash on Clubhouse? I think it's probably the most iconic in, in the time that I've been playing Siege. So the idea of the push here is to get the main breach open. This is the default push, but hello. The default push, by the way. Uh, let me just make a rotate onto rafters here, because that's normally going to be the case. So the idea here is to get the breach open and your default plant spot. Your default plant spot here is right behind the bomb there. Now, the thing is with this plant spot is that is default plant, but a lot of people know that default plant spot from below. And I'll show you where it is in a second in case you don't know. So sometimes when you're playing this site, it's good to know that that's default because if you're in like a 2v1 with 10 seconds left and you can't find the last person, odds are that person is lurking below in lounge or lobby, whatever you want to call it, and is waiting for the C4 on, on the classic default plant spot there. So just be aware of that, you know, sometimes it's better to plant here or, or so just any, literally anywhere else other than default, depending on the situation of the round. So anyway, the main push is going to be the key thing here is one, getting the wall open and two, getting the player off rafters. If nobody's on rafters, it's a bit easier. I mean, they should have someone playing rafters, but yeah, if you can get the person off rafters, a bit of pressure down on garage door, you need to open, if you can, the, the doors below garage here and here and really get the pressure on rafters, clear the rafters, and then the, the, the push becomes a lot easier. It's almost impossible to win if you leave the person playing on rafters. So that's the key there. Anyway, in you come through the breach, you get on the default plant spot, which is here, and get the plant down. I've forgotten to do something, and we need to uh, shoot the radio. There we go. So yeah, get the plant down. Always think as well, and this, this is just a bit of a general tip when it comes to planting, something that helped me in the past. Depending on where it is you need to maybe jump, if you know the last person's in cash, don't default plant facing this direction. Because if you get pushed from, pushed, pushed, that's not a word, pushed from cash, you've got a 180, turn around, and then ADS. Oh, hello, smoke, I didn't expect to see you there. Whereas if you know the last person's cash, you can plant like this. And if you hear the push, you're already facing the same direction. The only thing is they could go through the cash rotate and then you've got to loot top red. But if you know their red stairs, plant in this direction. And then as you might get pushed, you're already facing the right direction. And as I say, for cash, aim for that. You know, I would never plant in this direction because you've got to always move 180 degrees. Anyway, that's default plant spot for club. Let's make some holes so we can see it from below. And off we go below. I don't need to ping it. I've seen enough... Uh, I've got enough kills from C4s in this spot, but here you go. There's no particular reference point here. You see the bomb there. Um, I just sort of know where it is. Um, it's sort of equidistant between this wall and between this wall, in line with the two pictures. Yeah, it's sort of one, two, three panels along. As long as you're in this area here with a C4, you're not going to go wrong. But that's how you're going to stop it from below. And it's something, again, I I'm going to say this probably a lot whilst I'm talking about default plant spots. If you're in a 1v1 with 10, 15 seconds left, you know, and there's a, you've got information on site, an Echo Drone, a Maestro Cam, Bulletproof, a Valkyrie Cam, whatever it might be, you wouldn't be wrong to come down here with 10 seconds left and just anticipate the default plant spot. Obviously, if, they, if you just run downstairs, you leave yourself open to the player instead just, you know, making his way into cash or whatever it might be. So you've just got to be careful about that. But yeah, playing verti vertically here, verticality vertically <laughs> is, is, is easy enough by just nipping down into the lobby there. Downstairs on Clubhouse then in terms of default plant locations and you can push from two sides. If you're making the kitchen push and dropping the hatch, which I would say is probably the most popular, the default plant spot for me is either right in front of the bomb, which is here, or in front of the cabinet here. 
I prefer the cabinet because it's just, a, I don't know, it's just a little bit further away from the rotate where if anyone can C4, they normally have a rotate here. If any defender comes over and throws C4 over there, which does happen sometimes. I personally think the default plan spot is better here. Now, defending that wise, obviously, there's no vertical, there's no verticality. I, I swear I don't know about that. I keep, I'm doubting myself the more I say it. Unless you take upstairs again, which is a thing. Once somebody's dropped kitchen, you can then retake kitchen if you're roaming. Um, you can play above. Um, but yeah, just know it's just off the hatch there. Um, just before the hatch, directly in line with the hatch. Um, you probably would just play on the hatch anyway. You probably wouldn't make a, a hole in the floor to, to play through. But yeah, that's your default plant spot there. And then from the other side, you've got two. Well, technically three, but I'm going to say two. If you've dropped the moto hatch or you've opened the church wall here... Or sometimes here, but not very often here. It's more this side behind the mini bar. I really would. Can you shoot the jukebox from here? I'd really. That'd make me day. Yes! There you go. I just learned something. You can shoot the jukebox from basement. So, the default plant spots down in, in basement from the church side are two. So, you've got behind the, uh, the vending machine here. I don't think this is what I would call default, but it is a super, super popular plant spot. You can really get tucked in here, and it hides a lot, even from behind the bomb. You struggle to see anyone planting there. You've really got to sort of get wide and, and, and look at where they are there. So yeah, that's one spot, but the main default plant spot downstairs is here behind the mini bar in church, just there. I don't think you see this take do, done anywhere near as often as the kitchen take, um, but this is, it's actually really easy to do in my opinion and far easier than the kitchen hatch and clearing out arsenal. All you've got to do is just get main stairs and you've got to get control of moto. The easiest way to can get control of moto is just open the hatch. Once you've opened Moto Hatch, no one can really safely play a Moto. So as soon as that hatch is open, this is, you know this is going to be pretty much clear unless you're playing against an absolute maniac, which does happen. Once then you know Moto is clear, which can be held from the hatch, obviously, you've just got to make a breach with Ace, Thermite, or Banner, or Maverick, or Hard Breach Charges, or whatever it might be here. And then you can... The only place you've got to watch is the door there. But once you've drawn this out, you know no one's tight left. The plant has just so easily gone down there. Um, I think I honestly don't see people using it. I know in higher elo it's used, but in in lower elo people get absolutely fixated on the kitchen hatch. Um, whereas I think that's such an easy take once that the moto hatch is open. If the moto hatch is caded and you can't get it open, it's a real struggle to clear out here. But yeah, straight in behind there. This is default on church side. Defending it, there's not any um, vertical play you can do because it's a solid ceiling. The only thing you can do is, is sort of chuck C4s and smokes and whatever over from behind the bomb here. But if you're playing against a decent attacking team, you aren't going to be able to stand here because there's going to be someone on Moto Door usually. But yeah, that's, uh, that's Church side. So I'm only going to really do the popular sites. There's sort of two main popular sites on most maps. However, Clubhouse has three because Jim is another really popular site. So much like over on CCTV, your first objective here is to get the wall open. Once we've got the wall open, you're going to have holes here. You've got to clear our bathroom or smoke bathroom off. If there's a mirror there, you're, you're going to struggle to clear it, but, you know, nade over or um, smoke it and run past. Or you need someone to clear bathroom, really. You can't really do an execute on this site while you've still got an enemy in bathroom. Um, once you're in there, the default plant spot in gym is right behind the gym equipment. Now, 99 times out of 100, there's going to be holes all along gym floor. Obviously, the holes are a bit smaller than this, but it, like they're made with smoke or mute shotgun, usually. Uh, not with a skeleton key, which opens up the whole wall. But your default plant spot here to try and protect yourself as well as possible from these holes is going to be behind the gym equipment. And it's here. It's it, This gym is really not a safe place to plant. You need to make sure you're being held from all over the place. You know, if you're an enemy and you're still in uh, in master, if you're a defender and you're high smoke, and you, you know, and you're looking, no matter where you go on that gym equipment, you can generally be seen. Um, this angle doesn't lend itself well, but if you, especially if you're this side, like it's near enough impossible to hide. So that it's the safest place to plant in gym, and it's what everyone would call as default in my opinion. You know where it is as a reference from below, because it's right next to the hatch, literally right next door. So if you know someone's planting gym, shut the jukebox up. Honestly, if I could remove one thing from Siege, it would be the radios and the and the jukeboxes. They, they just they drive me insane. But yeah, this is this is gym from below. Behind the gym equipment is right next to the hatch here. So if you're looking to C4, it's right next to the hatch, to the left-hand side, depending on which way you look at it. The north side of the hatch. And that's default from below. So there we have it. They're the default plant spots on the sites that I know on Clubhouse. I'm sorry I don't know bar. I'm going to go away and learn it, I promise. If you know where the default plant spots are, get it in the comments below. 
I don't have a queue of maps queued up for this series. So if you want to know the default plant spots on any other map, get it in the comments below and I'll do that one next. As always, I genuinely appreciate every single person that watches these videos, likes the videos, comments on the videos. Thank you so much and we'll see you on the next one. Cheers.